Something tells me I've been dreaming of someone who was never real. It seems I've changed a thousand ways. I wish I looked the way I feel. Break me. My luck is complicated. Boyfriend. Don't want to talk about it. Teenage. I'll work it out in the end. Great faith. My luck is complicated. Boyfriend. for friends to get weirded out. Ever since Connor broke up with Tally, he's been on this kick about how I don't spend any time with him. In his mind, I'm either hanging out with Maria or Alden, and he gets left in the dust. De-weirding solution? Throw him an awesome birthday party. Look what I found. Unfortunately, my mother has serious party envy. We can do a luau theme. Mom, nobody does theme parties past the age of six. Hey, how about these for eye candy? <laughs> no luau, okay? It's a tough sell. Hey, aloha, Helen. Mm -hmm. Mom, David, <laughs> please! <laughs> well, I thought it was a good idea. When I was your age, we always had theme parties. Remember, I still have to get the stuff to make tofu cheesecake. Don't bother. I ordered a cake. But I wanted to make it myself. Oh, by the time you buy all the ingredients, it's, it's cheaper to order. It's true. Who's throwing this party anyway? Well... I am. So it would be nice if you and your boyfriend could just butt out. I'll, uh, I'll uh, put these in the car. This seat taken? We were only trying to help. Well, you were helping me right out of planning Connor's party. <sighs> I'm sorry, Sharon. Sometimes I forget that you're not a little girl anymore. From now on, I promise to let you make more of your own decisions. You mean that? I really do. Look, if you still want to make your tofu cheesecake, here's some money to buy the stuff you need from the health food store, okay? Okay. Thank you, Mom. Tattoo is amazing! Thank you. Have you ever tried yoga? I've always wanted to. You should. It promotes flexibility and relieves stress. Best of all, it's a wonderful way to nourish mind, body, and spirit. Here, this brochure expands on that theory. When you buy one membership, the second is half price. I was gonna get Connor the archery lessons he's been hinting at. But yoga just seems so much cooler to me. And it's something we can do together. So, what do you say? Woohoo! <laughs> Fair warning, coming in. I brought my quad speakers. This party needs woofers. David, we're fine. Wow, are those bass masters? Mom, I thought you guys were gonna let us have some privacy. Hey, Sharon, cool tattoo. <gasps> what tattoo? Where? It's henna, it washes off. Is it a problem? No, no problem. It's cute. I mean, neat. Cool. Excuse me. That should be it. Fire it up.
Hey! Huh? Gee, thanks, David, but it's time for Connor to open his gifts now. Birthday boy, you are gonna be so surprised. Hmm. I see something I've been hinting like crazy for. Like lessons in the ancient art of... Yoga? Yoga! Wow! That is a surprise! Isn't it great? I got a membership for myself, too. See? Now we can spend more time together. Great! She's only 13. I just don't think you should encourage Sharon to wear temporary tattoos. Excuse me? <laughs> David, she's not going to run out and get a real one. She doesn't know what she wants. That's what she thinks. I made the card myself. Since when do you do calligraphy? Since my parents decided I should learn more about my cultural heritage. It means freedom. You know, since you're getting older. Hey! Oh, that's what I want! This is what I'm going to get for my tattoo. No way. You're getting a real one? <laughs> yeah, right. Your mom will be real happy about that. I know how to handle my mother. Ah! Morning, Mom. You're working early. I'm trying to write a speech for this workshop I'm giving. Wow, what's the occasion? I just wanted to show you how much I appreciated your letting me have the party my way. Well, you did a great job of hosting. You know what we talked about yesterday? About making my own decisions? Yes. Oh, what? But this one would be totally cool. It means freedom. Sharon. At your age, no studio would even consider tattooing you, and certainly not without permission, and I'm not giving it. But it's my body! And you're my daughter, and it's up to me to keep you from making a huge mistake. The answer is no. You're such a hypocrite! You say I can make my own decisions, but you only let me make ones that you agree with. Breakfast in bed didn't work? Shut up! Because depending on what you're going for, I can offer you a variety of other buttering up techniques. I've got everything under control, thanks. Cleaning out her car always works for me. Please, I really don't think I need to resort to such juvenile tricks. We're talking tactics, Sharon. Tricks are for kids. Tactics are for teens. <laughs> I mean, can you believe how controlling she is? Oh, I think I'm allergic to these floor mats. Are you itchy? She treats me like a kid. I'm surprised she lets me dress myself. This is an excellent posture for your back. Just listen to your body and never work beyond your own pain threshold. What was wrong with uh, the temporary tattoo? Why do you have to have a real one? Ah, ow! Connor, the coolest part about a tattoo is that it's forever. It's like this huge personal decision. Second pose. Did I mention that my inner ear problem screws up my balance? Ooh, uh, uh, you know, Sharon, yoga might not be my thing. Sure it is. I believe in you, Connor. If you just stick with it, you'll be great. Anyway, the lessons aren't returnable. Oh. This is exactly what we need to relieve our stress. Ooh. Uh, uh. Oh. Sharon? Can you come into my office for a moment? Just a minute. Is this good or bad? Probably bad. Mom only makes me sit on this couch when she's going to give me a hard time. Yes, along with personal therapy, the group work is committed to making a difference in all levels of communication between family members. 
Exactly. I hope to see you there next week. Sorry, Sharon. Now, about our discussion this morning, I've had some time to think about it. And discuss it with your boyfriend. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. But I've come to the conclusion that maybe you are old enough to be making important decisions. So, I've decided that if you're sure about this, if you're absolutely determined to get a tattoo, I won't stand in your way. <gasps> are you serious? Provided that I go with you to make sure you're okay. I told you, the car cleaning works every time. David, I know, but look, I'm a trained psychologist. I know what I'm doing. Here comes Sharon. I'll call you later. Namaste. I bow to the divine in you. It's a yoga greeting. Oh, well then, likewise. How are you feeling? I am balanced and calm. <laughs> and totally psyched! Though I do have this weird feeling that I've forgotten something. Sharon? Anyone? A little help here? Uh... And I know it's a huge decision, but I just love the idea so much. Um, so where is this place anyway? Almost there. I just have to stop off at the doctor's first. A disco ball? Oh. What were you thinking? That I was Donna Summer? This is so bogus. I can't believe you're making me watch this. I can't believe I have to. Why didn't you tell me you had a tattoo? Oh. She got it after some wild sorority party, and she's regretted it ever since. So now she's decided that I can't have one. Did it actually look like a disco ball? More like a golf ball. Ugh, oh, I feel so ripped off. My mother never had any intention of letting me get my tattoo. Sharon Spitz wants a tattoo? Aren't you defaced enough, Brace Face? Tattoos are so gross. Alden, guess what Sharon wants to do to herself? A tattoo, I know. Isn't it great? Great? I... I guess it's all right. So, any ink we should know about? Not yet. My mom's having a little trouble with the concept. Do you honestly let your mother control you like that? If you were really serious about it, you'd get one anyway. Don't worry, Nina. I plan to. Anyone know a good place? Okay, I'll be at the center until 2 doing the teen workshop. Have you seen my keys? No. How's your butt? It still hurts. I'm sorry you're still angry with me, but I needed you to understand why I said no to the tattoo. It's not my fault you picked a stupid disco ball. We'll have to talk about this later, Sharon. I have to go. Have a good day, okay? Hey, Sharon. There you are. What's in the case? <sighs> Calligraphy brushes. I just had my lesson in the art of tediousness. How could you let your parents force you into that? Mm, it's a treat for six kickboxing sessions. Are you sure about this, Sharon? This place looks so gross. It's the only place that didn't ask my age. Come on. You think they charge extra for the hepatitis? Welcome, ladies. Have a seat. Ew. Um... Could I maybe watch you? Oh, oh, I'll be in the waiting room. Teens often delight in making choices that we as parents find inappropriate. Let me tell you about my daughter's tattoo phase. I shared my own mistake with her so she would understand why I couldn't let her get a tattoo. <laughs> So, Peaches, what do you want, and where do you want it? Oh, no. Oh! Ah! Whoa! Oh. Ah! Step on the cord! And I thought I'd ugh, never use calligraphy in real life. Ow! Uh, it's all in the 
tourist, eh, Sharon? Sharon? It's hard to say no, but deep down, kids want us to impose limits. Oh, Dr. Spitz, there's an urgent call. Something about your daughter getting knocked out at Ray's Tattoo Shack? <laughs> I'd have my tattoo right now if Maria hadn't totally clocked me. Wow, that stinks. It would have looked wicked. You've got a lot of guts, Sharon. You really think so? Well, hey, it's not over yet. Sorry, Alden, I've got to go. I think it's lecture time. Come in! Like there's any chance you won't. Here's a cold cloth if your head still hurts. I thought we had settled this, Sharon. What were you thinking, going to a place like that? You should be grateful for that bump on your head. It kept you from making a huge mistake. David, it's me. Can you come over for coffee? I really need to talk. I really need to talk. You knocked her unconscious? Is she okay? Well, she's well enough to insult my backswing. Is that Maria? Bad news travels fast. Sharon's here. I gotta go. Right. But listen, don't be a doormat about the yoga thing, okay? You gotta tell her sometime. I, I know. I'll talk to you later. Do I have a say about my mother's life? About who she dates? What she wears? No! So why does she get to veto my tattoo? <sighs> Sharon... Can I talk to you about something? Uh, I'm kind of in a situation where somebody has made this choice for me that I basically, well, that I hate. Well, tell them to back off. Uh, but it's not that simple. Sure it is. You can't let other people run your life. And you know what? Neither can I. Thanks, Connor. I'm glad we're spending more time together. I feel like we can tell each other anything. Oh. Sharon, I'm quitting yoga. You're doing your best, Helen. It's my life and my body, and I'm getting a tattoo, and I don't care what you think. What do you have to say to that? Okay. Um, uh, right. Good. Don't say it, David. I'm tired, and I'm fresh out of bright ideas. your mom is finally letting you go through with this. Well, Sharon's the one who's going to have to suffer the consequences. Have I had my tetanus shot? Yes. Here, you have to sign this at the bottom. Mom? Oh. Oh. Good idea. Yoga will relax me. Um, chant with me, Connor. Oh, what? Here? Now? Yes, now. It'll make you feel better. Come on, Sharon. I don't want to. Let's do a nice, easy tree pose. Man, you think your mother is controlling. You're the one who's bulldozing all over everyone. What are you talking about? Look. When you bought those yoga lessons, did you get them for me or for you? I got them for both of us. Do I look like a yoga kind of guy? Why didn't you say something? I tried, but you were so busy trying to get your own way about this tattoo. Sharon Spitz, would you like to come this way? Hi, I'm Zen. Whoa, how old are you? Old enough. Young enough to need permission. Could I see the consent form? What do you know? Well, Sharon, what statement are we making today? Ah, uh, it says freedom. Actually, it says grapefruit. <laughs> but I can fix it. Have a seat. <sighs> You must be a pretty together kid for your mom to let you do this at your age. Let's just say I'm pretty determined. I couldn't believe I was finally getting my tattoo. It's weird, but I thought I'd feel happier about it. 
Well, there it is. Freedom. Yeah. Uh, I guess so. Helen Spitz? When can you reschedule my talk? Oh, wouldn't you rather get someone who actually knows something about teenagers? It's done! Are you okay, honey? Where is it? Did it hurt? It, can I see? You didn't get it on your... No! Mom, look! I decided earrings were more me than a tattoo. Thanks. Um, I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, I know what you're thinking, but I didn't chicken out. I just changed my mind. I'm allowed to change my mind. Ow, Mom. Could you maybe not hold me so tight? Oh, I'll try, Sharon. I'll try.